The David and Andelman and Patricia Title Award is sponsored by David and Pamela for the best international reporting in the broadcast medium showing a concern for the human condition. And this year, it's a wonderful award won by Josh Fine and David Scott of HBO Sports with Brian Gumbel for the story, The Price of Glory, which spotlights abusive conditions, needless worker deaths, and the immense wealth that covers it up ahead of the 2022 World Cup in Qatar. The only other sports reporting team to win an OPC award was Sports Illustrated in 1964 for Olympic coverage, not the bathing suit issue. Congrats, congratulations, Josh and David. The citation goes to Terry Moran of ABC News Nightline for Moscow is Burning. Thanks, this is really nice. Uh, four years ago, we started looking into Qatar's shocking, successful bid for the 2022 World Cup and wondered how FIFA could award the tournament to a stifling, hot desert shakedom with an atrocious record of labor abuses. What we, what we found was more than just a World Cup event, but a national sports plan of unprecedented ambition based on the exploitation of foreign labor, both on and off the field. Qatar's sports glory is built on the backs of hundreds of thousands of the poorest people on earth, imported and indentured to build a lavish World Cup city in the desert. It's a system used throughout much of the Gulf, something called Kathala, in which migrant workers who make up 90% of the population in Qatar are bound to their employers who control where they work, where they live, and when or if they're allowed to go home. When the Qataris won the right to host the World Cup in 2010, they told the international community that they were going to change their labor practices. Very little, if anything, has changed. Uh, we want to thank the HBO Brass, Richard Plepler, Ken Hirschman, Rick Bernstein for supporting Real Sports and giving us an opportunity to do stories like this. We're forever grateful. Our remarkable leader on Real Sports, Joe Persky, who is as responsible as anyone for us winning this award and always teaches us so much. Thank you, Joe. Bryant Gumbel, who started this show 20 years ago and keeps steering it in the right direction. Bryant, thank you. Our terrific editor, Stu Ash, Andy Boley for shooting our remarkable pictures, Tim Walker, Ken Clausen, and the Overseas Press Club for this magnificent award. Thank you very much.